Well, hi, everybody. Good morning. Two meteorologist Travis Klineski here early on this uh, Monday morning. A few models have been hinting at a few showers and weak thunderstorms developing out west. So far, the only activity we have seen is, has been near the Colorado border in far southwest Nebraska, really about right here is where we've seen most rain activity. So nothing else has materialized as of yet, but we're starting to see more clouds develop in these locations right here. The rest of us, it's pretty clear to start things off this morning, but those clouds may drift eastward with time. Maybe a couple of sprinkles or light showers, not completely out of the question this afternoon. It's a pretty slim chance of seeing that though. I'd put that chance at less than 10%. As we get into tonight, a quiet night ahead, most of the thunderstorm activity will remain out to our uh, west, uh, in far western Nebraska, and then over the border into Wyoming. Now tomorrow, partly cloudy skies again, and then as we get towards tomorrow night, we start to focus to the northwest for chances of rain and thunderstorms pushing southeastward. Now if there's severe weather, your best bet is going to be in the western parts of the local four viewing area. Um, some of this, there is some uncertainty as, as to how well this holds together through the nighttime hours. So I'm not confident in our chances in the Tri-Cities area, but I'll throw in at least a slight chance of rain and thunderstorm activity during the overnight hours. And then things will start to wind down and, or at least the chance will lessen as we get towards early Wednesday morning. So for our severe weather threat for tomorrow, and this is for tomorrow evening, western portions of the local four viewing area have the best chance. It's a marginal threat. That's at level one out of five. So it's a low end chance of some severe weather. I think wind would be your biggest threat, maybe some hail, but mostly damaging wind gusts. Wednesday, kind of the same areas under a marginal threat of severe storms once again, mainly towards the end of the day, Wednesday and Wednesday night. Well, now to the best part of the forecast, and that's temperatures over the next couple of days. We're talking about mid to upper 70s for high temperatures later on this afternoon, some 80s out in the western third of the state. This should be a beautiful day out there for today. Tonight, another very nice night as we drop back low 50s in the east to upper 50s to near 60 out west we'll go with mid 50s again in the tri-city should be just a, again a wonderful night ahead if you have a, another chance to maybe open up some windows and let that fresh air in 70s again tomorrow although we do start to see 80s creep just a little farther to the east but this should be another very nice day tomorrow it's the last of the cooler days as we'll then start to warm things up after tomorrow in fact even tomorrow night not quite as cool as tonight we're talking upper 50s and lower 60s and then we just inch those temperatures up a little bit still not bad but inching those temperatures up upper 70s and low to mid 80s for your wednesday maybe some upper 80s way out west and that heat's going to continue to build in as we get to the end of the week so again, rain and thunderstorm chances returning tomorrow night and early on Wednesday morning, then another chance for Wednesday night. After Wednesday, temperatures closer to our average high, mid 80s Thursday, and then upper 80s to near 90 on Friday. Still some slight chances of rain and thunderstorms, mainly during the nighttime hours all the way through Friday morning. After that, while I think there still are chances in parts of the local four viewing area, uh, heading into the upcoming weekend, the majority of us won't see much, uh, especially this weekend. I would watch Saturday night mainly up in northern Nebraska, but again, it's so far out yet, there's just not a lot of confidence. The bigger deal is that we're going to see more sunshine and more heat this upcoming weekend with temperatures returning to the low and mid 90s. Long range forecast trends do show those above average temperatures sticking around through early next week, and then maybe cooling off just a smidge as we get towards the middle of next week. But we're going to have to really take advantage of these next couple of days. It looks a lot like yesterday below average temperatures lovely weather ahead not a whole lot of humidity not much to complain about but like i said it will warm up later on this week all right with that i'm going to let you all go thank you for all watching i appreciate it we'll talk to you again tuesday morning until then take care and enjoy your monday god bless